aircraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, crew nine back on Earth. Good morning. Copy, flash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. It is, uh, it is an amazing thing what a ride. I see a capsule full of friends here to here. We have visual confirmation of splashdown. Dragon Freedom has returned home and NASA astronauts. System safety verifications are in progress. We'll report back when recovery personnel are in route. Uh, I understand that we're in section two, four decimal eight hundred uh, landing response. And uh, looking for your word, I'm just going to use necessary. In the distance, we can see the recovery vessel making its way. Copy, you're in Section 2 for the environmental assessment in 4.800. That is not necessary today. understand. Reason 5. We will continue to have communications between the Corps and Nick Haig, the commander of Crew Dragon Freedom, which just splashed down two minutes ago off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Dragon Freedom has returned home with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're back on Earth after approximately 17 hours of a return journey from space. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon splashdown, and they will now make their way to the splashdown location. The teams have been ready and waiting about three nautical miles away, so it's going to take them about 30 minutes or so to make their way and to... SpaceX Freedom, Earth server and Stable 1. Copy Stable 1, we see the same. It's going to take about 30 minutes for the recovery team to make their way.